In this video, we'll be talking about the dangers of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing platforms. There are lots of file sharing applications on Android and then we know of AirDrop on iPhones. So for example, on Android, we have Zendaz, we have ShareIt, we have Google Files, we have lots and lots of other file sharing platforms and these platforms are used to share applications, share files, share movies, share folders and share a whole lot of documents because they are offline so you don't, it does not cost you anything, you just need to have that particular application and then the other person just needs to have it. But do you know that there are lots of dangers that affect your online safety? So let me list the dangers for you. Let me tell you the dangers. For example, someone who is very careless in terms of online safety, the person does not care, the person does not know anything about online safety. The person can go ahead and click on links, enjoy these links, click on any links that come to his emails, download any files, download crack versions of applications and software. And this person wants to send you a particular file or a particular music or a particular folder and this person already has a virus in his phone. This person could go ahead and share this virus to you. It could transfer from the person's phone to your phone just by you sharing those particular or just by you receiving applications or whatever you are receiving from that person through that peer-to-peer -peer file sharing platform. You could receive the malware that is already on the person's phone or the virus that is already on the person's phone without even you knowing. But is there any way you can use this platform safely? Because I mean, people will enjoy this platform. Collect whatever you want to collect without going through the steps of downloading or looking for these things. For now, let me tell you how to be safe when using these platforms. First of all, if you have to collect a file from someone, especially someone you might not really know, make sure you do the sending yourself. Do the sending yourself. Make sure you monitor the sending. Don't just keep your phone there and then you say, go ahead and send me this song or go ahead and send me that song and then you sit down comfortably and you are waiting for the person to send it to you. Don't do that. That is quite dangerous. Make sure you can see the person's phone and then you are sending the particular file you want to send so that you don't get something else sent to you instead of what you originally wanted to collect so that you don't get a virus or a Trojan sent to you instead of the original thing. But is this foolproof? No, it is not. It is not still safe. But this is just one thing you can do. For example, I remember that time when I used to just collect someone's flash drive and then go ahead to collect movies, collect music, collect all these things. I ended up collecting short code virus that made every application or every folder on my laptop shortcut so i lost my major files and lost everything but that was then i'm i'm quite wiser now so another thing about these changes is that most of them might be malicious people they might have malicious intents and then you want this person to send you this particular file or this particular pdf or this particular document whatever it is this person might actually have a malicious intent of trying to monitor you or trying to send you a virus or something related to that and then this platform will be the best way the person can send those malicious applications or those malicious files because most times since it is an offline stuff since you don't need to be online to send these files you are offline and then most times your antivirus tool is offline which means danger right your antivirus is offline which means you are in danger except you have your data turned on when you are doing all those sending and then your antivirus is enabled to detect some of these viruses because sometimes your antivirus needs to be online to detect some types of virus so if the person has a malicious intent of sending you a virus or sending you a malicious application you will be in trouble if you don't do the third thing which i'm going to discuss with you soon enough there was this particular friend of mine when I started the ed school hacking. We both used to do ed school hacking. We learned some things and then we share it with each other. We share knowledge and all. So, but I wanted to collect something from this particular colleague of mine. Then, so I had to use Zender as a platform for him to send me the PDFs on cyber security, some PDFs that he had been studying and some materials that he had been studying. So this particular colleague of mine sent an Android crafted payload, more like a malware. He sent it to my phone when he was sending those other files and those other documents. He sent a malicious and a crafted Android payload to my phone. This after I saw this particular file and I looked at it and because I knew what it was, because I was someone that was already studying cyber security, so I knew what that particular thing was. I called him and asked him that why was this thing on my phone, that how come he sent a payload to my phone. Then he said to me that he didn't know that he sent a payload, that it might have been something he was working on and then he didn't know that he sent it to my phone. And then I couldn't, I didn't know if I was supposed to believe that he didn't send it on purpose or he sent it on purpose because we are not really close friends, we are just colleagues that, we are just ethical hacking colleagues, something like that. So I never knew if he sent it maliciously or if he sent it without knowing. So to prevent all this from happening, make sure you get an antivirus. Get a working antivirus that will help you detect any virus that is in your phone or to help you detect any malware that is in your phone. So you can check the description below for the antivirus solutions that I use. Those ones are really good. You can go ahead and use them. You need to be careful when sending with this platform. It should be the best if you can avoid or if you can do without using those platforms because most times 
you get to use them offline but if at all this is the this is the key now if at all you must use this platform to make sure you have your mobile data turned on and make sure you have your antivirus enabled so that if anything is entering your phone your antivirus will be able to pick it up right immediately as it enters your phone so that it clears it immediately from your phone so make sure you have your data turned on and your antivirus enabled so you can go ahead and send whatever you want to send but without you having an antivirus a working antivirus and without your data being turned on or your internet connection being turned on don't try collecting files and folders from strangers or from someone you don't know so thank you for watching do well to enjoy the playlist we have for you just after this video go ahead and click and see the ones you've not watched and enjoy those videos that are just for your online safety your online safety is key remember to stay safe